We're continuing our look at local companies going global with an area airline manufacturer who's had international strategy since the very beginning. And now 41% of Midwest Aero Support's total take is attributed to either agreements with offshore companies or direct sales to airlines from other parts of the world. Okay. Brent Johnson had over a decade of international sales experience before starting Midwest Aero Support. In fact, it was that experience that led Johnson to start the company. The regional airlines did not have their own repair shops and they depended on somebody else to repair their products. And that's where I got the idea of launching Midwest Aero Support. The company opened in 1990 and a year later, Midwest Aero Support already had its first international client. One of the ways to really find opportunities is by attending various airline conferences. During one of these conferences, I was introduced to a representative from a company out of Toulouse, France, and we signed our first agreement with them in 1991. And that agreement remains. In fact, it's expanded. We are their only licensed service center in North America. Midwest Aero Support has a number of other global agreements from places like France, Austria, Jordan, and the Czech Republic. Right now we're working on agreement with ATR Support. The, the, the wrench is slightly... Uh... In fact, today we visited a couple of representatives from ATR's quality department in France was at the McChesney Park plant to perform an audit before completing the deal. To, to tell the customer uh, as a default fund. It's a matter of building a relationship and a sense of trust with the companies. And building those international relationships take exposure. We've had a booth at the Paris Air Show five times. It takes traveling. You don't get these kind of agreements with a phone call or an email. And it takes time. But that one day that they invite you to their home for dinner, you know you're in. <laughs> Very nice. So does Johnson have any tips for any other local businesses that want to go global? I imagine it can be probably pretty hard. Too. Yeah, well, he had several suggestions. One, though, that kind of surprised me. He said, if you do business in Europe, spend the money to hire a lawyer who's versed in international law to look over the contracts. Jensen said he did that in yeah. the past, and it was money well spent, he said. So you can tell. Some, he's doing well. Well, so. something different, yeah. And a reminder that the 2012 Go Global Conference on International Trade is next Tuesday and Wednesday at Giovanni's. For more information, you can head to our web channel at WIFR.com. Well, Chief Meteorologist Mark.